everyone, Daniel Vandal here for Fitness FAQs. Today's topic, the YTWL exercise circuit. Now with this one guys, if you're looking to maximize your training performance, which should be everyone watching this channel, as well as decrease the likelihood of getting a shoulder injury, you should be doing this circuit. The reason for that is we're trying to work on our scapular stability as well as our scapular control. So those muscles aren't focused on or improved with conventional training. They require specific rehabilitation exercises as well as improving the function of our rotator cuff. Yeah. I'd say my favorite exercise out of the bunch would be the Y exercise because I feel this has the highest transferability to the calisthenics athlete. We often work overhead, so we're doing pull-ups, we're doing handstands. We need that good function of our shoulder blade for that specific movement pattern. The Y exercise is really good because it teaches us how to posteriorly tilt our scapula as well as the upward rotation aspect of scapular movement. So the Y exercise can be really good for getting that lower trapezius to perform its function. So when you're doing the Y exercise, you should feel it in between your shoulder blade as well as the lower portion. With the Y exercise, we're positioned in the exact line of pull, about 130 degrees, whereby the lower trapezius is going to be firing. It's okay to feel it a bit in the upper traps because the upper traps are an upward rotator, but you should mostly be feeling it in the lower portion of your shoulder blade. When doing the T exercise, position the arms out to the side so the hands are roughly level with shoulder height. From here, set the scapula, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Then from here, you're gonna try and lift the hands away from the floor upwards. And you wanna go as high as you can whilst maintaining that full retraction. When we're doing the T exercise, we're mainly gonna be getting the middle trapezius, the posterior deltoid, as well as the rotator cuff functioning. When we're doing the W exercise, we're essentially mimicking a similar position that our arms would be in if we're doing a barbell back squat. So for most people, the mobility to get the arms back here isn't because you're tight, it's because you don't have the strength into external rotation and scapular retraction. So the W exercise will be perfect for you guys. I'd position the hands roughly shoulder height, then from here, as we know, set the scapula and let the hands fly afterwards, lifting up as high as you can whilst maintaining that set scapular position. When doing the L exercise, the most important thing to keep in mind is keeping the elbows as close to your body as possible. And then from here, you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades back together and you're gonna try and drive the thumbs outwards, really firing up those external rotators. Set the scapula first and then move the arms afterwards. The reason for this is because we're trying to focus on scapulothoracic movement, which is just a fancy way of saying we're trying to get the scapula to move on the rib cage, as opposed to the common mistake when doing YTWLs is to simply do glenohumeral joint movement at the expense of scapulothoracic movement. Set the scapula first and then let the arm forward afterwards and you can be doing the exercises correctly. One of the most important things is to set the lower back position. So I want you to be in a posterior pelvic tilt and this is going to represent itself by having a gap between the floor and your belly button. Don't make the mistake of shrugging excessively through the shoulders to compensate for a lack of scapular control. Keep yourself in a good position from the start and only move the arms as much as necessary to feel in the correct area. For most of you, this is going to be just off the floor. We know time after time, the research indicates when you're training your rotator cuff, the best way, the optimal way to do it is to perform the exercise with perfect technique and well short of fatigue. This definitely isn't the time or the place to be going to failure because your form's going to go down the drain and you're going to be ingraining bad habits. The key message here is listen to correct form, make sure that you're not making the common mistakes, do it properly, short of fatigue, and you're going to get really good transferability to your training. Now you're probably thinking, how often should I do this, sets, reps, all that stuff? Don't worry guys, I've got you covered as always. I'd recommend doing this two to three times a week, and I'd be doing one to two sets of eight to 10 reps on each of the Y, the T, the W, and the L. 
Now, the common criticism when doing this circuit is they do it in a consecutive fashion. So they'll do the Y, the T, the W, the L without any rest. I recommend doing one at a time and then resting about one to two minutes between each exercise. Like we discussed earlier, it defeats the purpose of what we're trying to achieve if we're doing it in a fatigued state. Give yourself enough rest, focus on correct control of the exercise. Because we're lying on our stomach and our arms are overhead, we're going to be working in an inner range of motion. As we know, when muscles work in an inner range of motion, they're at their weakest state, and it's often really difficult to perform correctly. So if you find yourself having difficulty by applying correct technique whilst you're on your stomach, that's no stress at all. Just regress the movement momentarily by oh, yeah. performing it on either a bench, or you can simply do a slight forward lean in a standing position and perform the exercise against gravity in that manner. Why we do this is because it allows us to work that outer range of motion before we get into the inner range of motion. Thanks everyone for watching. If you made it this far into the video, leave a thumbs up, show your support to my YouTube page. In the comments section, write to me what type of exercise do you perform to stay on top of your game. Otherwise, I'll check with you guys real soon. Peace out. Take it easy. Stop, John. I bought some more. I'll wash something up, Jess. Look at that. How much effort do you have to take all that? That's what I want to know. Do you have to take it from your young age? From me? Ah, yeah. Det var ju ökta för det.